It's been a busy summer for water rescues in Newport News. We're only about halfway through the summer and crews have already responded to 29 calls on the water. That includes three major rescues in the last month on the James River. In the most recent one, two people died. Two of these incidents involved boats, and the one thing they had in common, not everyone was wearing a life vest. Now city officials are working to get the word out about life jacket safety. Telling your size, Asia Tolliver is here now in Asia. I can only imagine that when these marine response teams are heading to the water, it's pretty frustrating to then find people in the water with no life vest on. Absolutely, Joe. You know, I talked to a man today, or one of the officials rather, and he says, you know, he got in this profession to help save people, but there's a lot that people can do to prevent it and help save themselves. He says the most, it's the most boat traffic they've seen in a while, and with that taken into account, you can never be too safe. I've not seen it this busy in a long time. The last time there was this much boat traffic, officials say, was nearly two decades ago. And though they can't pinpoint why, Captain Frank White with the Newport News Marine Response Team had a few ideas. You know, people may not want to travel, uh, the beach access, you know, the ability to go someplace close by and seek recovery from the heat. But White says with the rise in boat activity came more serious incidents. Fire officials have rescued 10 people this past month and two more died. And in many of the cases, boaters were not wearing life jackets. In the most recent boat collision, only one out of the four people rescued was wearing one. Don't assume everything's going to be all right. Legally, you're required to have one vest available for every person on the boat. But White says even if you know how to swim, you should throw one on. What if you get hurt? What if you get a leg cramp or an arm cramp or your leg or arm gets stuck? Or you're trying to hold on to someone who doesn't have one, who can't swim, then the PFD personal flotation device becomes crucial. And when you're about to head out on the water, leave prepared for anything. Have a plan B. Carry a cell phone. Inform your family members what your plan is. When you're going, when you're coming back, have safety equipment with you. Now, because of the recent drowning, city officials are working with the Tidewater Fire Education Network and the Red Cross to make a prevention video. They're set to film it next month. I'm Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.